Hello and welcome to Charter Local Edition Northwest. I'm Dana Cowley and today we're covering the Washington State Legislature and we're in the beautiful State Capitol Room. My guest today is Terry Neely. Terry, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Terry is a representative in the 16th District and he also sits on the Finance Committee. And can you tell us what you're doing to try to resolve our budget issues? Well, it's been a big question this year. This is the first year I'm ranking on finance, which means on the Republican side, uh, I'm the ranking. And we have 13 uh, people on that finance committee, eight Democrats and five Republicans. So all basic budget finance bills come through that committee, and especially on the revenue side or the tax side. And so we wrestle with a lot of issues. and. Uh, my responsibility has gone up this year because of the ranking position, and we have had a lot of bills come through. There's two big problems that we're facing, which were a result of lawsuits. Mm. The first one was what we call the Sprint decision. It was a lawsuit from a couple of years ago on the telecom industry because of an inequity in charging of taxes. And the reason for that is in the old days, we had uh, just a single line item on our landline phones at home, but now obviously we have cell phones, we have satellite, we have computers, we have internet. Everything under the sun. Everything under the sun, and, but the law didn't change. The taxation didn't change. So there was a lawsuit that said that against the state of Washington, it said you shouldn't have taxed us because the law doesn't say that. On, oh. on telecom. So to make a long story short, the stakeholders got together, thankfully, and came up with a plan to create equity across the board, parity, so that they all would be taxed at least somewhat equitably. The second issue is another lawsuit, and it's an estate tax issue called the Bracken decision mm -hmm. that ruled against the Department of Revenue to the tune of about $160 million. Yeah, that's gotten a lot of public interest too. And so the problem with that, and there is a bill that's been submitted as to whether we go back retroactively uh -huh. and make the statement that whatever taxes were paid, the state keeps instead of refunding them. And, of course, these estates are asking for refunds. Right. So it's a big legal issue also, let alone a, an issue for Financial revenue to issue. the state. Mm -hmm. So those are two big issues right there that total close to a billion dollars for a state that we need to resolve uh, in a short period of time. And what do you think needs to be done to resolve our budget issue in order for the session to be finished and to wrap up on time? Well, the Democrats in the House have proposed a budget which increases taxes by about $1.3 billion. Mm -hmm. The uh, Republican side of the House thinks that we can get a budget out of here without increasing taxes. Mm -hmm. We have to sh shift some funds, but we can do it. Both budgets on the House side, the Republican and the Democratic side, does have provision for around a billion dollars to fund, fully fund schools. It doesn't get us quite there yet, but it gets us much closer. The Supreme Court said we had till 2018 to fully fund uh, schools, which is all day kindergarten, for example, and pre-K and transportation and what they call MSOCs, which is the maintenance and so forth, mm -hmm. and bus transportation. All of that needs to be funded. So that's a, a big issue and a big challenge for us. Well, Terry, we sure appreciate you joining us. Thank you so well, much. Well, thank you very much. For coming. Thank you for your good work. Yeah. This is Terry Neely. He is a state representative in the 16th District. You're watching Dana Cowley, and this is Charter Local Edition Northwest. <laughs>